All right. So. We're doing this. Do we want to get started, or what, what is the plan? I mean, we're in between matches, so, like, fuck it. All right, well, I think let's just go ahead and flip over to the chart. Okay, Welcome we're everyone. starting with... <laughs> the mo 3S fuckability. The chart. moment you've all been waiting for. Is Shun Li or Bayonetta this time? No. Yes. No. no. What? Not exactly. Um, all right. So I'm not going to go through all of Chun Li's lore because it's not that important and we kind of already have a sense of Chun Li is. But she is good to put at a baseline. I think we can all agree that she is on the fucking far mm -hmm. right of this screen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah? She yes. Is actually I right don't about even have to think so there. but for for the the means and perception she belongs so that is the baseline well, I'm gonna for that you're comparing this relative to the characters because in ultimate we got so much more to work with because it's ultimate there's so well, many more well, like yeah i do, characters I do are literally god i do want to like kind of establish like Ryu and Ken, same, yeah, exact same place of their ultimate chart. Just to establish, Ken and Ryu are basically the baseline for this, and so that's why they yeah. go here. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Ken is, is actually not- I did write down a bunch of Ken's lore, by the way. None of it is interesting. None in the slightest. Just um, more energetic, they're just a bit more energetic than so, Ryu, so that's why they go slightly higher. Here's where the lore stuff happens. Alex, okay? Right. Alex is an American fighter from Manhattan. Uh, his mm -hmm. parents died when he was young, and he lives with his dad's friend and his dad's friend's daughter, Patricia, mm -hmm. who he is absolutely, totally, not at all having sex with on a regular basis. Yep. <laughs> and she's totally not at all 17. FBI, open up! Um, <laughs> just, just so we're all clear, the person that he is absolutely not fucking on the regular is Patricia, this girl. Seventeen. Who definitely who definitely is not only who definitely is not only legal age, but also looks like they're legal age. Just Obviously, ignore the picture. Yes, don't. She's. He is like, at least late twenties, from what I can tell. Um, I do want to point out, he almost they were going to experiment on him, but he actually didn't want to and just like tried super super hard and actually escaped before they could. And I feel <laughs> I should bring that up because he definitely does not like experimenting. All right, so where did we? So all right. he said bland. Remember, we read bland. He's bland. So yeah. He's definitely near the. He's definitely close to the bottom. There's not a ton of like interesting lore about him. He did fight in a wrestling match against Zangief and Armika with Laura. This is Alex. Kara Blandy is that? Hit that. <laughs> <laughs> he did not miss a beat. <laughs> Alright, so. You. Uh, I mean, I can't say I disagree, though. Would you hit it more than Ryu and Ken? Yes, very much. Yes, actually, yeah. So, 100%. I don't know if they're not gonna be like our bottom right, but like they're definitely here? noticeably farther than Ryu can. Like, it bait me a bit to the right, but that, yeah. Yeah, like there. Yeah, like right under the F? Yeah, that's fine. So, Dudley. Dudley. Before I read his lore, we know Dudley is like on this side. Yes. W wait, where? On like, the right side. Listen, ev every not nah, everybody loves a gentleman. All right. Look at this man. Absolute unit. All right. So having said that, lore time. Oh wait. Oh, don't go back down a bit. What? Go back down. What is with the sh is that shirtless Dudley? Where are you, where are you looking? Oh yeah. <laughs> is that a body? I oh my god. I can't show this okay. the setup, but okay. So th yeah, he's definitely far right. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Okay, lore. let's get into the lore. Lore. I've read so much fucking lore. So I, I, Dudley I, I... entered the Street Fighter tournament just to get back his his dad's jag. So yeah. he has money. <laughs> So, okay, what happened was his, his dad was a highly paid athlete turned businessman. Lost his business and fortune. Um, so Dudley decided to be a fighter to regain all of his family wealth, um, which he eventually did. He fought in the tournament to win back the, the Jaguar, like the car, yeah. that Gil purchased legally from his dad, because his dad couldn't oh, afford yeah. to keep it anymore. Okay, oh. so you asked, but how much, 
how much money. I thought it was yes. stolen. No, it, it was wasn't stolen. stolen. Gil, Gil bought it. <laughs> Why is Gil like the most lawful villain? That you... Dude, Gil is fucking weird. <laughs> oh. I also don't know if this applies to uh, like with anything here, but he does everything with his gloves on. <laughs> everything. 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 Thanks for saying it the fourth time. Really hammers it home. <laughs> he will give you a good fingering with the gloves on. Which is inherently a fisting, which means he it's also It's also incredibly it. impressive. <laughs> I want him to fist me with those gloves. He is. Let me just look up something quickly. <laughs> he is canonically always an impeccable gentleman. Ooh, that's hot. Right. That Bro, he, 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 he can straight up beat you, but he won't hurt you like quite as bad because he's wearing gloves. No, oh, but he's a gentleman. That doesn't... thoughts. Can we actually do the top right, right now? Yeah, let's get, All right, guys, get that hear me out. Anyway. Hear me out. Oh, oh, I I know who it is. You don't even have to tell me. It's twelve. <laughs> yeah, of course he is. No, there's no other spot. Yep. <laughs> so, one, look at him. He's adorable. Two, so he is like uh, the result of the a genetic experiment that was designed to create the perfect better. assassin, and he is. Three, he is perfectly obedient. Um, which means he is unfortunately a hard sub, so maybe oh. not for everyone, oh. but like a hard sub. So he won't assassinate my asshole. Yes. Not unless you order him. It's kind of like the Luigi factor. Yes, but also, and I want to stress, uh, I want to stretch, stress this. <laughs> yeah, of course you want to stretch it. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to give one more, one more little bit. There are multiple. There. Are, oh, you mean gangbang too? There are multiple twelves, all of whom will just listen to you. That. Oh, you got a harem. <laughs> it's a harem. I think we can all agree 12 top right. 12 top right. Okay, hey, let's go through Elyon's lore. Ellie. Oh. Ellie. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck. So this is Elena. No, I just. Okay. All right. um, I'm, just, I'm just putting her here temporarily because I picked her up. She, she kind of right. hot. So let's just yeah, no. quickly. Uh... So I'm going to. So. How do I feel like. Check, one, check one of her. Like, I'm pretty sure she has, like. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Generous. You can tell which picture uh, did it to you. <laughs> Left? No, it's this. Thing. That's not the one I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> I'm paying attention, sorry. Um. You know, Elena's lore. Elena is an East African princess. Oh, Eric? Uh, game. We're going oh. into the game. Damn it! <laughs> God, I'm I'm do the players in this tournament have to play the game. I'm Why is it no? No one's ever this on time. What the fuck? <laughs> exactly. No, I'm. So I, I'm what gonna guess fuck based fuck on fuck your guys' fuck. reactions that you want to put her far right. Yes. <laughs> no, I actually find her more attractive than uh, Chun Li. That's an opinion, and people are fine to have opinions. Yeah. Oh, uh, so I You're will add to, to this. We didn't talk about Chun Li at all either. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I will add to this. Uh, so one of Elena's, uh, and this is uh, my cutoff thought from before. One of Elena's um, win animations. Um, just check that. <laughs> um, give me a minute. I need to. I need to <laughs> try mix this off stream. You win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a question about Gil. So everything's half hot, half cold. So would that be like fucking a stick of icy hot? That is my question. Okay. Gil, go. Yes. Eric, I'm assuming you've done that before, so why don't you take the wheel? <laughs> I haven't, personally. Um, I'm just... Considering your prior experiences with ramen, I'm just gonna leave that there. What, what does ramen have to do with icy hot? <laughs> Are you food. putting icy hot in your ramen? Or... <laughs> oh, it's, it's foods. Fucking an icy hot. I've never done it. Probably a great time. I see to dull yeah. the pain, hot to relax it away. Here's the thing. Gil is almost definitely into some fucked up shit. Yeah. He's also 100% a dog. Yeah, he loves performing experiments. 100%. There's no way. Hear he's me not. out. I, yes, he's hot, okay. But the guy is just a fucking loser. I'm hot. like high, but to the left. I yeah, want to exactly. put him like here, personally. But I understand the physical attractiveness maybe pushes him to like there. So Hugo uh, was raised in Germany on potatoes, specifically. 
he was a construction worker at one point. He became a pro wrestler. Um, his personality is basically a large, angry baby. Um, and Poison um, adopts him. Right. So, so hold on. Let me just... Uh... All right. All right. Okay. Ibuki. Okay. Now, the question is... Well, actually, no, because um, her ending in Street Fighter, um, like in Third Strike, so has her going to college. She is in college. Now, let me read about her lore, because I think it's important. All so right. she is a she's, a... she's a girl from a hidden ninja village. She does, she does a lot of ninja stuff, and not all of it's that relevant. Yeah. yeah it's just... there, are, there are three important points about her lore. Mm-hmm. One, she snuck away from a training camp to enter a tournament, which is like the tournament that the game takes place in, for the yeah. explicit purpose of meeting cool and handsome guys. Two. Got it. At one point, she is approached by Karen, who's another character, I don't want to get into it, um, to form an alliance. However, she won't sign up until Karen says that her very famous parties always have hot guys in attendance. She, why is she so horny? Three. She, she has a pet tanuki. Basically, what we know about Ibuki is she is a hoe who likes big dicks. She's a Naruto. And she, she's into big balls, and she is... She, she only does... Out. She almost exclusively does things in order to, to meet hot Same. guys. I am going to ask you guys where you want to put Ibuki on the left-right scale. Because uh, she's, like, at most middle for me. I I'm agree. Not, I'm not feeling it. I'd, I'd say a little bit more to the left, just because it's just like, it's all she thinks about. I think she's kind of boring. Well, that part I think is is fine, Eric. Maybe that's just different opinion. She really likes dick. Right. Yeah. She's like aggressively straight. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's true too. And, and again, maybe that's just me pushing her further left. But like... I do find that some people... I don't get that, the Dudley um, vibe, you know what I'm saying? Some people that yeah. actually stick a lot of sex don't actually want to do much with it. Exactly. You know? Huh? Makoto's a tomboy. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but... So, so here's... A, I'm gonna read off everything I wrote about Makoto. Um, young Japanese tomboy. Mm-hmm. She runs a dojo. Awesome. Um, the sort of person to say, quote... She beat the pants off everyone. Oh god. Also, Gabe. God damn it. Who are you talking about? Akuma? Makoto. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, yeah, Akuma. <laughs> I just imagine Akuma. I just Akuma. got back. I beat I just the pants back off everyone. <laughs> He'd be right, also, to be fair. Who, who won that <laughs> no, game? It's like, no, it's like, I am Akuma, and I will beat the pants off you. It breaks an entire <laughs> fucking island. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, I watched an tutorial and an animation. It was talking about how a good idol animation can convey a lot about a character. And it's like how Ibuki, uh, Koto's idol animation alludes to a lot of her playstyle, which is ridiculous. Like, if you look at it, she is not moving. She is, like, she has one fist back to keep her from striking with the rest of her voice, voice to attack. She's not moving during the entire idol. The only thing that moves is her clothes. Just out of frame, by the way. Uh, is someone who drew Makoto, Makoto, but like dummy thick. Obviously, that's the degeneracy of the internet. Sauce. <laughs> hey, don't you wait until after the stream to say it, so you don't seem like as much of a loser. It's, it's the rule. Look, I've already accepted this. I'm going all in. Fair enough. That's not the sauce. What the know. fuck? <laughs> I wasn't watching or paying attention to any of that because I was. Doing mod stuff. What the hell am I Jesus looking at? <laughs> Damn. Look this at is that not absolute dump truck. <laughs> the yeah. Pix- no, no, this is what I call. This is what I call the Pixar mom. Jesus. <laughs> I feel like we need we need to show it now. Oh my god. I mean, we might as well. We're at 18 viewers. That's our. That's our y'all top. Want, y'all want to see some cake? Is that what you came for? No, I really don't. Editor's note. No, I will not be linking the sauce in this video, uh, nor will I be putting the picture in the video. You filthy degenerates can just search up Makoto Third Strike, and you will find it. Akuma, let's get to Akuma. Akuma. I wrote down fucking 
so much Akuma lore. Akuma is like if you're saying Akuma, but um, like the <laughs> thing where you cut off your arms. Okay, so I'm just gonna read out to you guys everything I fucking wrote about Akuma, and there's a lot. Okay. Um, this makes a little more sense if you know that Akuma is called Goki in Japanese, so it's Goki and Goken. I don't know if I'm saying those exactly right. Um, I think Goki and Goken are some dude named Gotetsu. Uh, he learned the Shun Goku Satsu, uh, which is a lethal technique, but is also very dangerous to the user. I, I wrote it down because it translates literally to instant hell murder. <laughs> Definitely naming my first kid that. <laughs> Alright, so. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. Yeah. So, so um, Goken, Akuma's brother, left and created his own dojo because he did not accept the violent nature of Satsui no Hado. Um, Akuma gave up all of his human compassion to learn the Shun Goku Satsu. Um, yep. And then he left his own master to train beyond his physical limits. On an island. Um, he, the Satsui no Hado uh, created a lust for death within Akuma. And then he killed his dad and took his, his prayer beads. That's significant for some reason. <laughs> Time okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, now, with that said, I'm just gonna drop this out there. The prayer beads! Those, you, you can use those. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll we know where that. I'm going with it. I'm, I'm like a third, I'm like uh, almost halfway through. Alright, so, but this, this still puts him up pretty high. So, like, with just this part. So, I continue. Akuma fought Goken in front of Ryu and Ken, who were both young, and lost. He killed Goken eventually using the Shun Goku Satsu, fucked up Ken in a fight, uh, dipped for a while. Uh, so, so basically his whole like life philosophy is he's only around just to find a worthy opponent to fight. Yeah. Okay, that's his whole deal. Um, he also wants to corrupt Ryu. But I will let you make that what I... Fuck me! <laughs> Go on! Sliding right along. Ryu fought Akuma. It was just a test. Um, so th by the way, I, I need to point out, this is when Akuma was on his fucking island. He yeah. found the island, fought Akuma, Akuma was testing him and essentially let him win. Um, then, you know whose geyser move? Yeah. He did that on the island and destroyed the fucking thing. The single punch. He, he broke the fucking island. Yeah. And, and he lived on. Yeah. And just yeah. like left. And, and and it specifies this in the in the wiki, by the way. The island was destroyed, leaving Ryu in the ocean to contemplate. <laughs> Wait, so I'm assuming that also Ryu was just like out. fucking floating in the ocean thinking about what happened. Wait, so where did Akuma go? How did he, he leave? Left. Did he have a boat? Uh, he just left. <laughs> he, like, he, just he left. teleported across the ocean. So he meets M. Bison, who has a psycho drive, which is lower stuff, basically psychic power that makes him do a lot of damage. Yeah. M. Bison says that Akuma can't beat him while the psycho drive exists. And meanwhile, Akuma's like, you're a bitch for not fighting hand to hand. Uh, oh yeah, and then he, and uh, then he uh, kills uh, him with Raging Demon. <laughs> <laughs> he also fucked off into the Tekken universe for a while. <laughs> and just, like, tore apart that shit, basically for fun. And finally, he can breathe underwater for a really long time. Oh, that explains how he got off the island. I don't, I don't actually know why the wiki specified that. It's to explain that island it, bullshit. It must be, right? That's the only fucking reason they would include that. It's gotta be. I'm gonna be honest, uh... hear me out. <laughs> Are we still talking about Akuma? Yes. <laughs> oh, he gives me big creep vibes. Uh, well, stay away, cause they, cause he might like. You know, let's he just... literally would just kill you. Also, he doesn't seem like he well, cares I'm... about sex at all. He feels like he'd be a super inattentive and like. Oh, uh, he's super selfish. Partner. He already, he already, he literally gave up his compassion. So does that really mean he'd be that kinky? Well, like I feel like he just wouldn't give a shit. Well, okay. The thing is, when he gave up his compassion, it doesn't mean he doesn't want it. He'll just not give a shit about what you want. Well, in that case, that makes him kind of rapey. Far left? Top left? Far left. left? Top left? Top left. Oh, guys, it's Necro time. Necro. Alright. Okay, hold on. Where's my Necro? Necro was the result of a genetic experiment. The one that... He was like a failure of like what 12 was supposed to be. But he's still somehow more stylish than 12. Have you seen this man's and fucking you. outfit? The drip. He, and I'm quoting here, has a soft body that allows him to stretch beyond normal and the ability to produce electricity. Mm. What a guy. Can this man get an erection? Unclear. Oh. <laughs> Does it matter? He can make his own. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, this, okay. You guys are going to question everything I, I stand for or believe in bringing this up. However, <laughs> so most, most toys, right? Um, At least, like, a lot of the more basic ones have a vibrate function, which work through electricity. So, so Necro... Necro could theoretically not only have an erection, but a vibrating one as well. So, here's the By... thing. I don't know how that works. <laughs> one, he actually can. 
judging by some of the <laughs> animations in game. <laughs> if I just vibrate super fucking hard. Get fucked, Popo. Or at the very least, we he really can like he can kind of rubber band Bro, himself a little bit. I hope bit. I do by Necro. <laughs> he canonically has a lover, and they use the word lover. Yeah. And that she looks like a thirteen-year-old, and that makes me hate. Is okay. Effie? No, 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 no. She's eighty-eight pounds. No. At five feet in height. There is no way that this is a woman. What does that say about him? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Is his tongue? Yep, that's his tongue. Venom tongue. Oh. All right. That's... So on one hand, uh, he may or may not be uh, sus, but on the other, what that tongue and nose do. So first of all, I think he's close to twelve in terms of high level. Yeah. Yeah. But I think lower because he's specifically a failed version of twelve. Remy, a hey. Remy, let's go. <laughs> All right, back to the fun stuff. Emo boy, let's go. E boy, guile. All right, so we all know what <laughs> Remy so looks like. Cheap. We all know what Remy's abs look like. All right. Yeah, he shows them off the end of every fight. In his ending, Remy ends up making the last visit to his sister's tomb, realizing his fallacy of painting another shadow over his own, using his grudge of fighting and engaging in the sport as a crutch to the voids and wounds of his heart. Remy comes to the conclusion of accepting the past and forgetting the hatred that keeps him from moving on, fully knowing that remaining as he is will not get him anywhere. Though he cannot forgive his father yet, Remy takes a last look at his sister and says goodbye to make the first step towards a new tomorrow for himself. Letting her body sink into the depths of the sea and walking his last steps in the cavern, a light shines, one that Remy has not seen in the longest time. Wishing to know where his new ways will take him, Remy continues onward on his new path. That Some not wrote expecting. that into a wiki. <laughs> I respect that person so much, though. That's yeah, not... bitch, you didn't have to write a fucking poem. That's well written. That's so good. It was just like really salty and defensive about how bad their main was. MDZH, did you write that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now I can John when I lose that I'm only playing the character because of the lore. I like a sensitive man. I he also have no idea where the fuck to put him, guys. Like so. He shows character growth, too. Guys, I have no idea where to put him. Like, I'm so lost. Yeah, but I can't- I can't fuck character growth. <laughs> Is he more I or think less he's, fuckable than Ken? I think Ken? he's more fuckable than Ken. I think I'm more. I think so, too. I think Me too. What about Alex? I think he's, like, the same as Alex. About even. I agree. I agree. Alright. Eric? Even. There we go. Fucking Sean. Right. He's a basketball kid, he likes martial arts, he wants to train under Ken. He fucking sucks at martial arts, and he can't train under Ken because Ken's like, you're, just, you're too bad. I also wrote down, literally none of the details are interesting except that Laura is his older sister. Uh, Wait. I just thought I I, I I actually did... Yeah, I did not know that, but god damn. I feel like someone with a more attractive sibling is less attractive. Yeah. That's important. Like, like, Sean's that one person that you probably only date just to get close to their sibling. Like, their hot sibling. True. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that hey, dating look, would be worse. I really wanted to say this at some point, but the opportunity is just slipping farther and farther away. So, a player is going to make this their PFP because they thought it would be really funny. Uh, one of the players I know. <laughs> Eric, you need, to, you need to make sure that Zach gets into the video. Alright, we're almost fucking done, and the last two are basically the same fucking character, so... So, they're... The both of them are brothers. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Yang and Yun, they're, they're brothers. I get the distinct feeling that if, if they fuck, they do it together. Like, they share the same partner. They both have crushes on Chun-Li. So, Chun-Li three-way is what I'm hearing? I don't know if that's what you're hearing. But, you know, I think... But, like... like I don't know... The, they're both, they both, like they go they're both the pretty boys. Really? Wow. Yeah, okay, yeah. I can see that. So, is this, it? this is the official tier list, but we're not done. So, it, it, it's it's late, and I'm, I'm gonna head out. Alright. He said, I'm gonna head out. Alright. Yeah. We got to talk about the feminist Illuminati, and he's like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, this is no, where I draw the line. Yeah, the lore is too much for me. Alright, I guess that's a good place to cut it.